Good morning. Excuse the whole hat and the look going on. But, oh my goodness, airports are freezing at night. I so didn't realise. There's no one here. It's about five o'clock in the morning. I've hardly slept, to be quite honest. This one, though, seemed fine. Slept all the way through, I think. Um, our flight is at seven. So I may try and get back to sleep for an hour or so. I don't know. No luck with the, um, phone. I went to security in that yesterday, last night, if you didn't watch yesterday. I lost my bloody phone. I think I left it on a chair. Which is just not like me. I'm normally so good with my phone. But anyway, it's gone. Which is a complete pain in the ass, to be quite honest. I'm just setting myself up a little charging station over here to recharge everything, because everything's almost dead. Oh, tired. Yeah. Oh, this one's woken up. We're just going to uh, pack up all the stuff and head over to the gate. I just realised that if you didn't watch yesterday, you may have no idea what's going on, where we are. We are in Istanbul airport. We had a layover overnight. We're now going to fly to Dalaman, short flight to Dalaman, for a house sit that we're going to. Right, three oh eight. That's us. Dalaman, boarding. I'm kind of glad we're not going to get Luggage, we don't really know where we're going. We were going to a thing, but the ladies told us that our bags will be on the um, international side, obviously, because we come um, on a connecting flight. And then, once we landed like 15 minutes early, so we'll collect our bags, and then the person that we're house sitting for is coming to collect us. I don't know what to do it on my phone because I've lost it. So, I, look, there's a lost and found there. I tried to find a lost and found in this sample, we couldn't find one. Never mind. Um, yeah, if it's lost, well, it is lost. I'm pretty. I'm 99.9 percent .9 sure it's not in a bag anywhere. So um, I need to report it to the police so I can get a like a you know a crime number or whatever, so I can claim on my insurance for it. This is Stephen's job. Whenever we're at an airport, yeah, that's ours. Looks like it anyway. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Grabbing the. I <laughs> don't think he's got the energy for it today. Oh, right, get the straps out. I haven't got the energy to carry it, I don't think. We've just arrived at our house set. Oh my goodness, there are so many cats. It's unbelievable. <laughs> They're all just getting fed at the moment. You all right there, Sean? Oh. Oh. Hi. 
my little bridge thing. Oh. Do you like it? Do you yeah. like it? All the cats. <laughs> so many. Hello. It's that little cat house. Oh. So many. This is the Stephen equivalent. No. <laughs> Stephen's always got a snotty nose for this and this cat always has a snotty nose. Well, I feel like you've had a snotty nose for ages. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh. oh it's water. Oh. <laughs> Drinking the water. Oh. <laughs> Look at them all. We've lost a cat at the moment. Oh, I didn't get you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, oh, I'm not sure. We've just come for some lunch, look. Um, we're not really sure what it is, some sort of Turkish speciality. I think it's like spinach and rice and salad. We've just come back from our food out, that was so nice. We're stuffed now though. We're just back at the house, just checking in for a second, and then we're gonna head down. She's gonna take us down to Ola Denise, which is like the seaside beach town. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? A scene that keeps playing on repeat ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? All your emotions with your heart on your sleeve It won't fade until you paint it black I let it burn, you call the fire brigade But I feel that when I was that East, it Down by the beach we can get a We're like just going around learning like where we are And sort of getting our bearings and things So we can get a bus just from near the house just down to the beach so that would be good we're going to go and drive now into fetier which is the nearest town to where uh, to where we're staying see what that's oh, like where does it come from oh where does it come from oh where She's just collecting some sawdust for the cat litter. It's so pretty here. It's so nice. I'm like too warm in this top. I'm so glad that we're in a hot country. So, so glad. How nice is it here? The mountains are gorgeous. This little Turkish market, we're gonna grab some fruit and veg. Oh wow, so amazing. Nice. Mm. I miss it. Yeah, I, I bet you do. Yeah. You're a fan of them? Yeah. You see, very cute. We bought loads of fruit and veg from the market. Stephen is just sitting in the back munching his way through all the strawberries and all the tomatoes, yeah? Not all, of them. Not all of them, just lots of them. Yeah. They're nice. Look at the size of that strawberry. Yeah. It's so delicious as well. Have you got a big one? Fight. Oh, he's got a carrot. Ah, ah, no, I dropped my strawberry, oh my God, fell off. Massive. Pass it, me. I want to eat it. I want it though. I want it, it's mine. Yeah. Mm. Oh, good. We're back now. I'm having a complete ball ache with this lost phone i told you I, I think i've told you today haven't i that my i lost my mobile in um it was either lost or stolen in istanbul airport last night and um 
just trying to get it sorted. I'm trying to, obviously I want it cancelled as soon as, and I need to get like a crime reference number or a lost reference number or whatever to give my insurance company to get it sorted, and that is proven harder than I thought it was. Like if this happened in England, you just phone up the police, they'd give you a number. It's not that easy when you're abroad to do well. I never find it that easy. Like I've, I, some, I don't know whether I've lost my passport or some, I've lost something in Spain before. And it took hours and hours and hours and hours of sorting out where if you're in England, it would just take me a quick phone call. And it, yeah, it's taken a long time and I don't really know what to do. I just need a, like a reference number. That's all I want. And I can't get one because it might maybe potentially happen in Istanbul and I'm not in Istanbul anymore. So I don't know what I'm going to do. It is a little bit of time later and maybe the phone is sorted. My sister is being a huge help back in England. I'm just going to give you a little, well not a tour, but just to show you like where we're sleeping or where. This is my room anyway. Stephen has got his own room here if he wants to go and sleep there. Excuse like the bags and stuff. Like I literally just dumped these bags and we've been so busy all day. But um, yeah, this is going to be my bedroom for the next couple of weeks the dog out here on the balcony but he's uh, going he won't be there whilst we're uh, pet sitting and house sitting there's a pool outside but look unfortunately it's not ready it's been like closed not closed but like it's her pool it's a private pool but it's like not done in the winter because obviously it's too cold and um yeah it needs emptying and grouting and sorting so then that's yeah well what have we got out here Somebody's, uh, somebody else's house. And then I've got a little ensuite bathroom here. Toilet, shower, bath. It's nice. It's really big, actually. Big mirrors. That's me. Hello. And then when the dog's gone, the dog will be leaving when she leaves in like two days or so. She, um, taking the dog and sit out on that balcony. Oh, I bet maybe get some nice, uh, nice sunsets out there, hopefully. The sky was so beautiful, but I kind of just forgot to film it. I will show you at some point. Can't really see now. I think I'm going to end today's vlog here because we are shattered after not sleeping very much at the um, at the airport last night. It wasn't the best night's sleep, but it was a cool little adventure. And I don't know, it's like, I almost call it to eight o'clock, but I just think I'm going to get into bed. It's got a bit cold. Get into bed, snuggle under some blankets watch a film maybe and just have a super early night try and catch up on a bit of sleep hopefully i'm thinking my phone is sorted thanks to my sister for all the help and hopefully it'll be sorted quick as well so i can like it can be delivered to my house in england and then shipped out here whilst we're here for a while i just have to see but yeah i really hope so i don't know what i'm gonna do that phone, like everything, like it's so true. And I always sort of thought uh, I wasn't gonna be one of those people where everything is on your phone, but it's so true, everything is on your phone. Like my work is even on my phone. Like I can't record any um, gaming, um, Sims FIFA videos or anything because. <sighs> anyway, right, I'm going. Thank you for watching today, and I will see you tomorrow. I'll give you like a tour, like I'll show you more, like of the cats and things. Um another day I'm not but anyway yeah good night see you tomorrow <laughs>